Hey everybody, welcome to another plane with me. So I take it you've all seen the new product coming out at Michael's on by the end of July. And I hope you're all excited because the stuff coming out is absolutely amazing. If you don't know what's coming out, head on over to my other YouTube um, videos and find out what it's all about. And then come back here because I'm going to be using the new Womankind sticker book in a mini spread. So stick around. So this is the mini I'm going to use, the Saturday Sunday Repeat Floral. It's absolutely stunning. I'm going to turn to July 8th and I'm going to be using the Womankind sticker book. I'm going to flip through it very quickly and look for the florals because those are very inspiring. Those colors just speak to me. And the first thing I'm going to do is cover up that square on the bottom right hand side with some sticky back paper. I got this sticky back paper from Amazon, but you can buy it at Staples or Walgreens, and it's very easy to cover up things. You can even cover up mistakes or make your own colorful boxes using this sticker book. This sticky back paper is very easy to use. So I'm just going to cover that up like so. So I'm covering up that square and it's all ready to go. So I'm going to start selecting. I want to pull out the navy, the lines, the separating the days are navy. So I want to pull out the navy florals. I want the a majority of the florals to be navy and blue. So I'm going to kind of avoid the yellow and orange. I mean, I can't do the whole thing, just I don't have enough flowers, navy and blue flowers, but um, I'm gonna try to pull out predominantly um, blues and navies for this spread. So I'm just choosing and putting them at random. I wanna cluster on the bottom right side and possibly a cluster on the top um, left side of the spread. So I'm starting with the bottom right, just filling up the space. And you see there's a, a gap between the flowers and the end of the page. So I want to start filling up that gap. I want the whole entire bottom um, right side to be covered with flowers. So at this point you want to use every bit of sticker that you can. So if there's a bit left off of something that you cut off, you'll save it and put it somewhere else. We really want to save. I mean, these stickers are so gorgeous. <laughs> Why would you want to waste any of it? So you might want to take off the paper to facilitate the cutting of these flowers off the ends of this. And I suggest you invest in a high quality pair of scissors, which I did not hear and it was very annoying. The stickers keep sticking to my scissors. So I think the bottom looks pretty good and I'm going to start doing the upper left hand side. So you guys, I apologize. I'm just realizing now that the spread is kind of cut off and you can't see the top, but I will eventually pull it down, you'll see. So I'm gonna use that cut, that flower that I just cut off and I'm gonna put it on the other side, trying not to cover the word Monday. And I'm really liking how that looks. I'm trying not to use too many flowers. I don't wanna overpower the spread. I wanna keep things and stickers to a minimum. Keep it nice and clean. But I'm noticing on the bottom right hand side that there's a gap. I, just, I think it still needs a little bit more. So I'm going to use that flower and there's a gap between the dark and the light blue flowers. So I'm going to put something in there between. So I'm going to cut off that little, little flower and stick it there so it's nice and filled. There we go. I'm really liking how it's looking so far. And I'm going to be looking for a sticker for the left side, one of those long boxes. I'm gonna use this one right here. It's perfect for the spread, has those navy ones. And I'm gonna use that for a running to-do list, things that don't need to be done that particular a particular day, but something that should be done that week. So take advantage now and look at all these gorgeous stickers. I mean, I really can't get enough of this book so beautiful but i'm going to take another little a navy box and layer that and i would really like to use on the right hand side a big quote and i don't want to go looking through rummaging through 50 other sticker books to find it so i'm hoping to find something from this book i can use the hello weekend that's an option but i want to look at other quotes before i make that decision So 
So I'm looking through the book and of course I get distracted and I see a cute little flag. I decide to put that on the bottom right hand side. I think it looks really cute. And I'm gonna be looking through other details and I'm looking through these wonderful quotes but nothing really speaks to me. So I think I'm going to use the hello. I put the hello on, I think I put it on Saturday. Of course it says hello weekend. So now it's just the details. So this to me is the most fun part because I'm no longer stressing. I like my, my layout. I'm just looking for a couple more details. I think something on the upper right hand side, maybe a box, maybe another flag. Oh, I see this flag. I'm going to put it on the, yeah, right under that box. So now I'm going to have to put something on the right side upper right side to balance that out and I see this box um, but it's a little big so I, and plus I don't want to use the pink flower so I'm gonna cut that flower off I'll save it for another day there'll be plenty of opportunities and if you haven't seen my other videos I talk about this um, that those tweezers I was carrying I was using just there I got mine at Joann's and I just think it's a game changer. So easy to use, makes planning so much fun. It's fun anyway, but it's really easy when you have the right tools. So I find a cute little um, other navy flag to go on top of that box. And I'm looking through my quotes again, looking to see if there's anything I wanna use. But I think it's finished. But of course I go through the book and I find one more detail, one more little flag that I want to use to fill in a little bit of white space that I thought was too much. So I'm just putting one more thing and there it is. I decide it's done finally. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week.